I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you see something, say something. I don't want a young person to walk around or any person walking around their neighborhood in fear. More than a week has gone by since police found 13 year old Angel Diaz's body here near East Hudson Street in Linden. Can you tell us if the body's like wrapped up or is it just kind of laying out there? And he's just laying in the alleyway, but he's like not moving. On Tuesday, the Columbus Police Department is trying a different tactic taking these flyers door to door alongside trusted community members like we are Linden's Ralph Carter. You want to go door to door. You want the, the community to know that we are here um, because we don't want you to wait till it hits your doorstep to get involved. CPD looking for witnesses to click this QR code and upload any video or information they have from April 14th between 8 and 9 p.m. They believe one simple clue will give them a better understanding of what happened here in this alleyway leading up to Angel Diaz being shot and killed. Because somebody may have seen this young man earlier that day, maybe seen the individuals that he was with, people that are around, uh, that he was around, because we want, we want to get answers um, to why this young man had to lose his life. This homicide comes just about a week after the city of Columbus announces another $20 million in funding for summer programs to prevent youth gun violence. There have been 22 homicides so far this year, according to CPD. Six of those victims, 21 and younger. What is your message for the person who did this to this young boy? Um, come forth, um, you know, give this family closure, um, allow the justice system to work, um, you know, pray. Um, again, this is something that nobody wants.